Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food, with Keto Under 20, just for today. That's all I have to worry about, at least meat-wise. I'm, uh, I'm waiting in the pool of the Keto Freezer Challenge from Alma, and uh, I know that Mike from Keto, Keto Mad is doing it too. Um, so I know that I'm due because I just went to open one of the two freezers we have, one of the three freezers we have, and it was like, OMG, oh my grass fed, oh my GF. <laughs> yeah, I need to do some serious meat from the freezer moments, which I will commit to you here today that I will do for this week. I will not shop for any meat this week. This is big for me because I just keep seeing stuff that's a great deal and keep putting it in the freezer. And you know, it, It's honestly so bad in the big freezer, the upright one, that I have to lock the door so stuff doesn't tumble out. Yeah, it's bad, huh? So I will commit to you that um, through next Saturday, um, so I guess that gets us into July, I will be um, working off the freezer, and trust me, there will be no hunger, <laughs> hunger pains in this house for meat. But on a good note, um, it is packed with wonderful grass-fed organic meat that I kept finding deals on. So I will be able to uh, feed us quite well. And Greg just did the veggie shopping, so we've got Brussels sprouts and collie crumbles and baby organic spinach and baby carrots and um, asparagus and that sort of stuff. So we are loaded, and it's great. And tonight for dinner, I'm having a big-ass salad, as Dr. Vong says. Although I don't eat like he has his patients going in for gas sleeve bariatric surgery. I love his inspirational messages. I love his consistency. I love what he gives back to his patients that we get to benefit from because he posts his, his vlogs for us to watch on YouTube. And so I will have my big ass salad tonight with two great big jumbo Pete and Jerry organic pasture raised free range eggs on top with some um, nitrite free uncured bacon inside the salad and I will be a happy camper. Tonight I start my big work week, my two overnight shifts. I don't have any extras this week. They're coming up though in May. I have a couple, um, actually quite a few people going on vacation. So, uh, you know, I have to prep a little bit for that. I have to go slow today. It, it takes a lot out of me. Um, it's hard to describe what it does, but <clears throat> I just I just pace myself <clears throat> because I am living sort of upside down with that. But I do go to bed early and get up early on a non-work day. So it's a stretch. It's a reach, not a stretch. And so here I will be working off the food that we've got in the freezer. We had a good week of food, though. We had... Um, some lollipop lamb chops, some grass-fed burger, some filet mignon, mignon, some pork chops. We had a good, a good week of food. And so I, when I do my overnights, I take my little <clears throat> cell phone with me and I go into my chronometer and I start putting in my food, and I have the same things most every day as far as supplements. And so as you can see, Bulletproof Coffee, um, Potassium, the uh, granular one I have with the wheatgrass juice powder. Then I have another um, Potassium supplement, uh, Heavy Cream, Dr. Rice's Electrolux Mix Raspberry that I got from um, Amazon, and I'm liking it. It's very, uh, Lickamade. Remember Lickamade? <gasps> God, there's good things about the good old days. I'm having short ribs and cottage cheese for lunch. I will put on 
my um, I will put on my my tights and my ballet slippers and get my chair and pretend I'm you know back in the Jack LaLanne days doesn't that sound like a Jack LaLanne uh, lunch although he would probably have tuna and not beef but I'm not a tuna fan so that's it I'm just I will when I'm working overnight I I put in the bones of my week with the supplements because I have the same thing every day I put in my great big salad because I have that every day and um, so my refrigerator looks the same every week with the things and and it's all working for me I love my keto under 20 um, as far as having the extra carbs one day and not the next it didn't seem to work out that way it's worked out that I fit in my cottage cheese and I do fit in my I'm, I'm not having any berries although I I, I uh, reserved that right to have them like I did in the podcast I haven't had any nut butter with yogurt I just bought a tub of organic cottage cheese full fat and I've been having two ounces of that and I will have that today with some short ribs that I cooked yesterday so I am not buying any meat this week, and you have my you have my vow, and I will be taking meat out of the freezer to cook as we go along, and so I'm happy about that because I love getting space in my freezer, and I I love it almost as much as Greg loves it. Greg loves it even more. He hates when packages of grass-fed beef fall on his toes. You know what I'm saying, saying? So... That's it from here. Prepping, prepping my chronometer, prep, prepping my food, um, prepping my salad for tonight. Off to do the do that I do. I've already had my dark walk, which was really pretty bright for 4.30 in the morning. And I will go to the rec center, climate controlled, getting rid of that 100% humidity um, in a couple hours. So that's it from here. I hope you have a wonderful keto under 20 day tracking weighing measuring and then following through with what's in the tracker versus what you're tracking makes sense yes do we always do it mm, some people don't you can find their websites <laughs> there's lots of people that don't but for those of us that love the structure and the discipline and feel safe within it it works for me it works for us thanks so much for watching this has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. Here we go. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye for now.